Jeremy. So. Yeah. When Jeremy Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, uh, another Vaughn weightlifting program. Uh, like I mentioned last week, we have another 14-week uh, program coming at you. So uh, specifically for us, it's aiming for our next competition that's uh, in association with our uh, Barbells for Boobs event, uh, where we hold uh, Grace uh, 5K and we also do uh, the weightlifting event as well. Uh, so that'll be October 29th and 30th um, in Belton, Texas. Um, as usual, if you guys are using this 14-week program and you aren't going to that competition, obviously try to pick another competition, um, uh, offset the program a little bit, whatever you need to to uh, be able to use the program uh, or just pick a test date uh, where you can uh, see what the program did for you. So uh, just a couple of uh, things coming into this first week of the 14-week program. Um, you're going to see a lot of uh, similar stuff, obviously, uh, but we do have a couple of new uh, warm-up sequences, uh, adjusted warm-up sequences from what you were doing before. So if you're on the last program, you'll see some slight uh, changes there and, and hopefully uh, those will uh, go uh, as well as they did before, if, if not uh, better. So uh, keep on those, make sure you're not skipping those warm-ups. Those are uh, very detailed um, um, ex uh, exercises and uh, drills that you need to be getting in. Um, not only for uh, proper warm-up, but for uh, mobility and, and all that kind of thing. So, um, some other stuff that's coming up, I took you guys through a lot of behind-the-neck pressing and stuff like that through the first portion of the 14th, the last 14th program. Going to be doing some of, the, some of the same, you won't have as much of that, but definitely going back through, through some more behind-the-neck stuff. And remember, that's very important. I know it, it, uh, it gets a little bit annoying, uh, a little bit... Uh, uh, seems like a little bit much, but it's for that position that is so weak for a lot of people. So many people are strong out here, not strong, pressing back here and up over the top. So for that position that's weak for a lot of people and very immobile, and uh, doing those exercises from the back will help uh, both of those things. Um, continuing with uh, mobility between sets, probably even trying to add in a little bit more as we go through this 14 week cycle uh, specifically with the squats we'll be uh, trying to do some more stuff there and, and along the way um, you know continue teaching you stuff and giving you more information on how to individualize those things uh, as we go have a lot of new videos that we'll be linking to uh, from some of the exercises send you to uh, power monkey fitness uh, uh, camp website or YouTube channel where you'll see um, myself Jody uh, Mike Service and uh, Dave Durante and, and a lot of the other people that we work with with Power Monkey um, showing you some of the videos and, and warm-ups and exercises uh, that we'll be doing so pretty uh, happy with the way those videos are coming out we'll be shooting more and linking to that website uh, a little bit more as well so um, as we go through this uh, thing, hopefully you guys on the last program or if you're new to this program, what we do a lot of is at the end of each workout, there's a, re a recovery segment. So a lot of smashing and, and mobility exercise there. Hopefully you guys got that in and benefited from it before. Um, if not, then try to start adding that in if you can. Even if you can just only do one, um, then that's, that's better than nothing. But try to get in, in habit and in routine and making time uh, to make those things happen, it'll help you so much, especially if you struggle with uh, weightlifting uh, positions, mobility-wise, it'll it'll help you get there. Um, key, uh, one key exercise that I wanted to talk about a little bit, aside from, it's uh, obviously we're focusing on strength right now um, and technique, uh, but the squats are very key right now, but also we're doing a combo uh, 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 clean deadlift movement, so clean lift off plus clean deadlift. What I want to say to you about that is make sure that you watch those videos. Pay attention to, to, to the description portions of those videos. Go down uh, on the description. Um, there's more description in the description section of the YouTube uh, video there. So make sure you read through that. There's a lot of information there. Um, I know a lot of people like to just watch the video and 
and mimicking and do that, and, and that's perfectly fine, but you will have a much better understanding of what we're looking for and what you need to be doing, and especially if you're a coach, you'll be able to pick up a lot of information uh, from that portion. So I want you to think about going down there, taking the time and reading through that, and um, I'm, I'm confident it'll help you to execute the movement better, um, get more out of it, and to be able to, uh, if you're a coach, to be able to teach your athletes more what we're looking for in that regard. So. Um, here at the CrossFit Games, um, uh, taking a little break from the action to uh, bring you this information. Um, and that's all we have for you. We'll be back home next week. I'll be back at the Kilo Cave and uh, I'll chat with you a little more about week two of 14. Take care, guys.